Dune is a 1984 American space opera written and directed by David Lynch and stars Kyle MacLachlan. Let's take a look. Hi guys, thanks for coming to Cinema Bear. My name is Eric Ortiz and welcome to my Memory Lane Monday segment. Where in honor of the upcoming Dune Part 2, we're going to be taking a look at Dune 1984. Uh, but oh, before we begin, please do me a massive favor, hit the subscribe button. As it stands, I'm only 999,929 subscribers away from a million, so with your help, I'll get to the magic number. In this adaptation of Dune, we follow Paul Atreides and his family. His father, Leto Atreides, has now been given charge of Planet Arrakis, which produces spice for the entire universe. And from what I gather, spice is basically like the oil of the universe or the opium of the universe. Everybody wants it and everybody needs it. And the only place to get it is Planet Arrakis. And yeah, that's as far as I'll get in terms of story because if not, I'll be here for an hour and 45 minutes. Um, I really want to talk about just like the look of this film. And this film is a space opera. It almost feels as if I'm watching a stage production of the book more than I'm watching a movie because the sets are huge. The costumes are very elaborate. The practical sets in this movie are just huge. They have this marriage of uh, Flash Gordon, uh, meets Masters of the Universe, meets, you know, some uh, Battlestar Galactica. It is definitely a very space opera looking movie. So in terms of the presentation, the movie pretty much checks all the boxes. The visual effects are excellent. The sets are excellent. The, the scale of the movie is pretty fantastic. Now, the one area where I think the movie is a mixed bag is in its performances. Some of these actors look as if they don't know what kind of movie they're really making. Like, they know they're making a big film, but they're just confused as to how to perform you know, to the camera. Uh, you know, Patrick Stewart is great as Gurney, and Kyle MacLachlan is really good, but I think he's maybe just a little bit too mature to be playing Paul Atreides. And then the rest of the cast, I mean, the, the Baron is hilarious. I mean, half the movie he's just zipping around like this demonic love child of Mary Poppins and Harvey Weinstein. And I, the... <laughs> The look of the villains in particular is just, they, they went with gross above all else. And Sting playing Fade is just, like Sting's just having, it looks like he's just having like a good time playing a very bad guy. So I, I'd say the performances are just overall silly. And then in terms of his directing style, I'd say David Lynch is doing the best he can with what he knows of science fiction. I never really got the sense that he really understood what kind of a movie he was really making like he knew he was making a sci-fi epic but the book dune is just so dense and has so many characters so many threads that he really just shoehorned the hell out of everything to fit it into this you know two hour and maybe 15 minute window like this movie feels like information overload you have voiceovers you have flashbacks flash forwards it's it's as if the movie just wants to give you as much data as possible but it's pretty difficult to kind of take it all in uh, at, at the pace that it's given it to you and sometimes it just doesn't really land where you're given these massive exposition dumps and again with the voiceover that feels kind of shoehorned in similar to the way it was in Blade Runner and another thing that kind of took me by surprise is how the movie doesn't really do world building necessarily it's almost like this is the world go and the, half the things that were happening I was just a, a bit lost in the entire momentum of the movie that said I was engaged I was entertained I did have fun and I would say this movie was cinema you know interesting at the very least until this one moment happened where this happened and it broke me. And honestly, there was just something about Picard as Gurney running into battle with a freaking pug that completely made me not take this movie seriously. Like Picard's battle pug just, it, it jumped the shark for me. And I can, I can only call this movie incredible. bad. It's fun for all the wrong reasons. It works in some cases, doesn't work in others. I will say when this movie has epic moments and you know some of these epic shots that are just remarkable yeah it, it's awesome but it's it, it, it's almost awesome by accident rather than on purpose so yeah that's my honest take on Dune 84 it's 
it's ridiculous it's overblown it's i know why it's a classic film i know why people love it and it's just one of those movies that like honestly if you're medicated you'll probably get 10 times more of an entertainment value out of it than if you're just watching it you know in, in base level so yeah that's my take on dune 84 fun movie please tune in next time we'll be reviewing dune written and directed by denis venue and starring timothee chalamet and zendaya Guys, thank you so much again for watching. Please let me know in the comment section your feelings on Dune 84. Have you seen the movie recently? Have you seen it a long time ago? I really just saw the movie for the first time ever for this video. And um, I mean, I understand why people love it. I understand why some people don't. I understand if you read the books, why you love it. And I understand why if you read the books, you don't. It certainly deserves its classic status. Thank you so much. This has been Cinema Bear. My name is Eric Ortiz. I will see you for the next one. Take care.